Good morning. Please stand. Our entrance antiphon can be found on page 695. I shall raise up for myself a faithful priest who will act in accord with my heart and my mind, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the benefits and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The Word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be, fault, be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples 
Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have, lo you have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Saint would very much live that gospel passage. It's calling on us to remember to be humble. No matter what kind of position you hold, whether high or low or anywhere in between, always remain humble. You're not better than anybody else. You may be called upon by God to do great things, but you're still no better than anybody else. You may be called upon to do small things, medium things, but no matter what God calls you to, you're still, you're not any better than or more important than anybody else. That's hard for us to handle, especially the higher and mightier you get. It can be very hard to just stay that humble and remember that we are all in God's eyes, called by Him, and the first call that's on every one of us is what? That, that word that I kept mentioning in the homily yesterday, that six-letter word that starts with an R, repent. We need to continuously be willing, be willing to allow God to purify our hearts and minds of all that is not of Him so we can become more and more close in following the example of Christ who, despite how who He was, put His life at the service of others all the way to the cross where his true greatness was. That's where St. Bonaventure's greatness was. He put his life at, for a long time, like 17 years, he served as the head of the Franciscan order. And then was called by the Pope to Archbishop Cardinal status in Italy, and did that for a number of years until his death, and was called to help put together the Council of Lyon to help deal with the split that was between the East and the West. Despite all of these things, he stayed very humble, did not consider himself better than anybody else, but kept putting his life at the service of others. Good witness, good example. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but I think we could use more of that today. That kind of hum humble nature of not considering ourselves more worthy or better than anybody else but willingness to put our lives at the service of, you know, what marks a good, healthy marriage? A husband who's willing to put his life at the service of his wife. A wife who's willing to put her life at the service of her husband. A mother and father willing to put their lives at the service of their sons and daughters. That's a healthy, Christian life is that willingness to put our life at the service of and not try to take some sort of exalted status like we think we're better than anybody else because we're not. We are all equally in need of repentance, all in equal, equally in need of God's forgiveness. We're all equally in need of all of the help that we can get that comes from God's grace and to encourage and help each other along the way. <clears throat> me. We offer up our prayers of faith for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Michael, and for all who teach and govern the Church of God, that they may be granted strength, wisdom, and humility, we pray to the Lord. For all Christians on pilgrimage in the world, especially those heading to the National Eucharistic Congress, that they may bear faithful witness to the truth of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. For all who have not yet opened their hearts to Jesus, that they may be granted the light of faith, we pray to the Lord. For all who rule and judge the citizens of this world, that they may learn from Christ the King how to serve their people, we pray to the Lord. For our friends and fellow parishioners, that this holy sacrifice may bring an abundant increase of grace, we pray to the Lord. 
for these and all the intentions in our parish book of prayer and for the special intentions of Kathy and Gary Chapman for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Living God, invincible strength and boundless mercy, hear our prayers and save all who give you glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Renewed by this look with favor, Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of St. Bonaventure, that bestowing upon us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation. We acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not one to Antiphon, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed St. Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Good forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.